Hey guys, Matt and Ryan, here we are. We're back again at the Zebra Training Facility and we've got another exercise circuit for you guys to tackle today. Hey guys, Justin Glad here. I've been doing the circuit today, so let's get it going. All right, exercise one, we have one and a half rep squat. So what we're gonna do, same setup as last time, feet shoulder width apart. We're gonna lower down, we're gonna touch the chair and then come back up halfway, lower back down, touch and stand all the way back up. So with this one, just sitting back, uh, hip and glutes to the chair and stand back up. If you want to progress this one, make it a little bit difficult. Everyone has a book or a textbook at home. We can hold that and counterweight the movement as we go. So same movement pattern, down, touching the chair, half rep back up, down touch and stand back up. All right, next exercise we have is the diver. So very similar to a single leg RDO, but what we're doing this time is we're reaching the weight out in front. So we're just targeting the hamstring and the glutes in a little bit different fashion. So same movement pattern. We're gonna stand on our left leg, extend the right leg out behind and keeping the back nice and straight at the same time. But we're pressing that book out and our arms out above our head as far as we can and really reaching out. So when we do this, nice and slow and controlled on the way out and then a little bit quicker coming back to our stance position at the bottom. So on this one, same reps as your single leg RDL. We're gonna start off at five to six reps and progress up to 12 repetitions. All right, the next exercise we're gonna do is the glute bridge with a hamstring walkout. So we're gonna bridge up into our bridge position. Then using our feet, we're gonna take tiny little steps forward. So for Ryan, it's probably gonna be about eight to 10 steps forward. We wanna get our legs as straight as possible. Then as we get to that position, we're gonna hold for a second, then we're gonna work all the way back into our starting position. Once we get to our starting position, we can drop our hips down, reset, bridge up and go again. So with this one, you may be able to do two or three reps to start out and back. As you get better, you can work up to five or six. To make it more difficult, add more steps in. So to start off, you may start off at five or six bigger steps. And as you get really proficient with it, you may be able to extend out to 10 or 12 steps during the repetition. The next exercise we have is a three-way lunge. So what this one's gonna be, it's gonna be a forward lunge. We're then gonna do a lateral lunge, stepping out to the side, coming back to start position, then into a reverse lunge. So what this does, Targets multiple facets of the legs as we're doing this exercise, but also helps us get some more volume in as we go. So on the three-way lunge, we're gonna go all through one side. So we're gonna start off between three repetitions at each point, working up to maybe eight repetitions if you're really proficient, and then we'll switch over and go to the other side. With this exercise, you can keep alternating back and forward. You can do one side, the other, back to the other side and back. So if you're starting off and you wanna accumulate some volume, you could go three each side uh, on the right or three each position on the right, three each position on the left, and then do the same thing again to get six total reps in uh, as you're completing your sets. All right, next exercise we have is a reach back. Some of you may not have seen this one before. It's a little bit different. So just knees in a nice little V position, keeping heels on the ground. Lean back as far as you can. Then we're gonna twist, rotate, and try and reach back with that hand as far as we can. Quick touch on the floor, come back up. So when we're doing this one, if you're leaning back too far and you're reaching, your feet come off the ground, you're gonna lose tension through your core. So we wanna make sure we maintain tension the whole time. So keep those heels dug into the ground, good lean back, and then reach and rotate and touch the ground. If you can't touch the ground uh, and you're leaning back too far, just don't quite lean as far and make the, the, the rotation in the movement a little bit earlier. The exercise of the core circuit, the mountain climber. So we're just gonna bring the, uh, the leg up to the arm, almost touching the elbow, and then extending it back out. So we're just gonna bring it up, extend back out, bring it up, extend back out. So we're gonna go five reps one side, then we'll transition over, we'll go five reps onto the other. Uh, as we're doing this exercise, we're gonna do as many of those five rep blocks as we can during the 30 second uh, piece of work. I hope everyone got a good workout in. I nominate Aaron Herrera for next week.